Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, the insiders in the Dev channel didn't receive a preview build, but nonetheless, everything's back to normal this week. And on the 19th of October, Microsoft enrolled out build 25227 to the Dev channel insiders for this week. And, and once again, just to keep you up to date and up to speed as to new improvements and features that Microsoft is working on in the Dev channel, and testing that could possibly roll out to an up and coming version of Windows 11 in the future, although though not always guaranteed. Now, just to do a couple of quick mentions at first, um, the insiders this week in the Dev Channel are starting to see badging on their user profile pictures uh, in the Start menu. And um, according to Microsoft, basically the main purpose of this change is to inform um, users if there are important actions that should be addressed in the operating system. And then there's also another change that includes the rollout of clipboard history support on password fields, which was earlier rolled out in build 25206. Now, just taking a look at our first screenshot from the release notes, um, and this is an improvement with the update stack orchestrator, which according to Microsoft now offers better predictability of restarts for Windows updates. Now, this is mainly geared towards RT administrators, but nonetheless is a new feature. So just to go through this very quickly, um, the options now in the group policy settings are the same for both feature and quality updates. So you can now specify deadlines for automatic updates and restarts for feature updates, and also specify deadlines for automatic updates and restarts for uh, quality updates according to Microsoft. And then once again, there's another um, update to the Microsoft Store, which uh, is for insiders across all channels running version 22209 of the Microsoft Store, who will now see a pop-up trailers for games and movies. And according to Microsoft, is a new way of interaction that has been added for you to preview trailers um, of your favorite games and movies. And then I would say maybe the key highlight for this week for Bolt 25227 is um, an update to the widgets and the widgets board. And yeah, we can see um, they try and out some different positions. We now have a, ver a horizontal and a vertical um, header with new icons for widgets board to learn how to best optimize the widgets board according to Microsoft. And that's by using monoline icons. So those are those monoline icons and um, with simple visuals for users. And uh, just on a side note, if we just head out of these screenshots um, just before we end this video, this looks very similar. If we just head over to... Um, Microsoft Edge and we head to the uh, Edge Bar. You can see there looking very similar to the Edge Bar with those um, as they're calling monoline icons and uh, different positions and here's the vertical layout which as mentioned uh, looks very similar. You can see uh, very similar now to those different positions for the header with the new icons for the widgets board now in build 25227. So obviously Microsoft in some way or other trying to collate the way the their different widgets and their widgets boards are looking. But nonetheless, that's it more or less for this week for build 25227, which is now the latest preview build that rolled out on the 19th to the Dev Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.